Alright, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, another weekend of FPS things, and this weekend I decided on a whim to check out Severed Steel finally. I played the demo of this a uh, few years ago, but I never actually uh, sunk time into the full game. And uh, having now played the Echo Point Nova demo just a couple weeks ago during Next Fest, um, which I had a lot more fun with than I had anticipated, I uh, figured, hmm, maybe I should go back and, and play this, since this was Greylock Studios' first release. Um, and apparently this has gotten a couple updates, because it's got like some extra game modes and stuff now, which I guess we can check out once we're done with the campaign. I did see one review that warns that the campaign, campaign is pretty short, so, uh, oh, am I on the wrong layout? I'm on the wrong layout. Hang on, let me fix that. There we go. Hey, Steve Maniac. Nine Steam d games. Good grief. Uh, 42 new games. Jeez. I'm, I'm trying to be even more stingy than usual, given that I am now fun employed. But I did, uh... I jumped on this, and I jumped on Sofstar since it is, uh, now the quarterly shmup in the shmup book club. But I tend to not buy too many things at once, since my backlog is already big enough as it is. Um, but yeah, let's read about this game in the, uh, in the store page. Whoops, hang on. Let me make sure I don't accidentally click away from it. Uh, Severed Steel is a single-player FPS featuring a fluid stunt system, destructible voxel environments, loads of bullet time, and a unique one-armed protagonist. It's you, your trigger finger, and a steel-toed boot against a superstructure full of bad guys. Chain together wall runs, dives, flips, and slides to take every last enemy down. So this is why I hadn't rushed into this game, no pun intended, was I tend to not always be great at, like, extremely movement-based shooters, and that's what this is. But we're gonna give it a try, especially given how much fun I ended up having with Echo Point Nova's demo more recently. Play a steel, a nimble, one-armed sharpshooter on a mission. There is no reloading. Pick your shots well and be ready to pry a loaded weapon from your enemy's cold, dead hands. So, it's funny, because when I was playing the demo for Echo Point Nova, I know I was slightly getting super hot vibes, and we're probably gonna be getting super hot vibes from this as well. Uh, stylish combat. Dodge bullets, leap off walls, slide kick, throw weapons, do whatever it takes to come out on top in intense and frenzied firefights. Fully destructible environment. Punch through thick concrete with 50 caliber slugs, or make big holes in things with your arm cannon. Carve your own path through completely destructible levels. Dynamic AI. No two battles are the same thanks to dynamic, unscripted, squad-based AI. Man, speedrunning this would be a nightmare. Firefight mode. Chase high scores and fast times for leaderboard acclaim in this arcade-styled mode. Features 42 levels, each with their own sub-challenges, and over 20 unlockable game-modifying mutators. Campaign mode. Blast- that's what we'll be playing tonight. Blast through six compact story chapters. See, I wouldn't want to market my game as having six compact story chapters, because yeah, that makes it sound short. And normally the asking price for this game is like... 25 bucks. I feel like you don't want to be marketing your game as extreme- having an extremely short campaign when you're asking 25 bucks for it. Uh, fortunately, it's on sale for 10 bucks right now. So, if it does, uh, seem like something you'd be interested in, then, uh, now might be a decent time to get it. Uh, but yeah, six compact, compact story chapters as you battle against the forces of nefarious mega corporation Eden Sis. Finish the campaign and want more? Try New Game Plus mode, which mixes up the campaign for a fresh playthrough. Okay, so there's some replayability in the campaign, that's good to know. Rogue mode. Severed steel with rogue light elements. Click the Rogue Steel button on the main menu to start a short, randomly generated 10-level campaign. Features unlockable perks, skins, and more. So the, the one critical review I read tonight seemed to complain that the roguelite mode makes you start over completely. And it's like, yeah, it's a roguelite mode. What do, what do you expect? So, like, I'm, I'm taking that review with a grain of salt. Accessibility. A range of adjustable settings for features such as difficulty, visuals, audio controls, navigation, and more. And yes, there is... I know there's a screen shake adjustment in here. There might be a flashing light adjustment, but the interesting thing is when you boot up the game, it does warn you about flashing lights, and and even with the flashing light adjustment off, it, they kind of, like, make a statement that, like, they still can't guarantee it's, like, 100% flashing light free, but at least they, they made an attempt. 
Uh, level editor with Steam Workshop support. Build levels and share them with the community. Note, this feature is in beta and will continue to be updated post-launch. Yeah, so that I wasn't expecting. But yeah, we've got a beta level editor right here. Um, but yeah, let's uh, tour through the uh, control... Uh, the options, rather. But yeah, good to hear that you're uh, gonna be hopefully home soon. Steve Maniac. So... Um, I have not messed with these, so they should mostly be default right now. You got ammo indicators, auto pick up weapon when no ammo left, auto kick when enemy is in range. That's off for now. I'm gonna have to get get used to some of the controls because there's like a take weapon button, a kick button, a kick slide button, a dash button. I think like those are two separate buttons. Um, there's the arm cannon button. I forget what right click actually is. It's not, it's not a take weapon, because that's E, I think. Anyway, we'll, we'll find out in a minute when we get down to controls. Um, Auto-activate slow motion when on stunt. I can appreciate this being off by default. Oh, slow motion is right click. That I seem to, yeah, that's what that is. Um, I can appreciate this not being on by default because it could be surprising, potentially. Uh, shooting empty weapon triggers throwing it. That's on by default. We'll see whether I end up doing that when I don't want to, but I don't know. I think, I, I'm pretty sure the store page said there's no reloading, basically, so there's probably no reason to hang on to an empty weapon, though, other than to throw it. Uh, disable slow-mo while gun cycling. Sounds, sounds almost like the opposite of what you would expect. Like, you know, any game that has a weapon wheel usually slows down everything when you're picking from it, but... Uh, manually end firefight level. That's interesting. It's off by default. I don't know why you would want to turn that on, unless that gives you a chance to like pick up more spoils or something. Weapon always ready. Not sure what that means. Hopefully it'll make sense eventually. Auto stop at ledges. I forget if this option was in the Echo Point Nova demo as well. Auto stand after dive, auto flip when land. I assume that just means put your viewport right side up again, which I can't say how you wouldn't do that. Um, upload scores to leaderboard, allow air control while diving, hold jump to climb. I wonder why that isn't done by default. Wall run, auto run, running speed, and you can actually reduce your running speed, which I guess is supposed to be like an accessibility kind of thing, but like, wouldn't that put you at a disadvantage? I don't know. Uh, we've got crosshair selections. That one looks neat. How many different selections do we have? We got the... we Wait, we have... Oh, that is the, the rightmost. Okay, it doesn't wrap around. Also, why am I getting... Why am I getting a tooltip that says play level? That seems wrong. Also, apparently there's more crosshairs to the left of the one that was the default as well. That seems confusing. Anyway, let's go with that one. We've got crosshair color, we've got HUD color... Mark empty weapons, hide cross here. Okay, so I feel like this should be closer to where this is in the options screen, but okay. Hide look? I'm, I'm just expect, expecting to, to, to find a football player hiding behind a corner somewhere. Um, hide slow-mo, hide objective. I assume that, I don't know what luck is referring to yet. Slow-mo I'm assuming is like a gauge or something. So yeah, this is just ways to turn off particular parts of the HUD, but I don't see why I would want to do it. Speedrunner's HUD, that sounds interesting. So they, they do consider that speedrunning is a thing. Again, the game says it's, you know, the, the store page says the game is randomized, so no two playthroughs are the same. That sounds like not something you would want to speedrun, because it will drive you absolutely batty. I wonder what classic ammo count is. I wish there were, like, tooltips for some of these. Compress HUD? I probably don't want to do that. I vis objectives. I wonder if that makes them clearer or something. I might want to try that. Uh, but anyway. Wait, what was at the very bottom? Oh, that's just reset everything. Okay. <clears throat> so graphics, you have your options between windowed, borderless, and full screen. You've got DLSS. Um, when I launched the game, there was an option. There's an option to just like launch the game, and then there's launch in DirectX 12 mode and launch in DirectX 11 mode. And DirectX 12 mode is supposed to support like RTX stuff. But I don't know what the top option of just launch the game does. Wouldn't that already have to be one or the other of DX12 or DX11? I don't get why there's three options. 
We got an FOV slider. We've got V-Sync, max frame rate. We've got a bunch of different effects here. We've got motion blur that can be turned off. We've got bloom that can be turned off. I may end up doing that. Um, I'm curious why voxel physics is a thing and why it's turned off by default, because I thought they were saying that, like, the game was voxel-based, unless that's just, like, extra debris and stuff. Reduced destruction? That might have to do with debris, for all I know. Simple lighting, simple particles. So these are, like, these are hardcore performance things. I need to... Hang on. I really need to just uninstall Power Toys at some point, because every time I end up shaking the mouse during a stream, it does that, and I don't want it to. Um, enemy Outlines is on, and that was a... Th I don't even know if this is an option in Echo Point Nova, but I'm pretty sure the enemies had Outlines in that, too. Oh, wait, no. Echo Point Nova had the Outlines on, like, everything, which just makes it... Gives it a cel-shaded look, but also makes things higher contrast, which is definitely a good thing, so I probably want to leave that on. Um, I wonder what this means, simple slow-mo effect. Here's your reduced flash, you've got reduced violence, you've got screen shake, which is on by default. I may come back and turn that off. Uh, under audio, you've got your typical volume settings. They do have separate sliders for music, game volume, arcade volume. Arcade volume, NPC volume. I'm assuming NPC is voice lines, potentially. This is funny, because arcade volume was a thing in... The Echo Point Nova demo as well, and I had no idea what it was referring to, but I imagine it's just referring to some of, like, the, uh, the pickup or, like, achievement-type sound effects and stuff. Um, I don't know why game volume's all the way down here, though. But I guess we'll start with that and see how it goes. Alright, so, controls. I'll probably have to come back and mess with look sensitivity. Uh, you've got your inverse setting, your... Smoothing setting, nobody in their right mind should use either one of those. Um, toggle for click, I guess kick slide can either be toggle or hold, so can bullet time, but since it's on right click, it makes sense to hold for it. You've got your movement, your bullet time is on right click, jump is on space, dive is on left shift. Uh, kick and use are both F, pick up weapon is E, throw weapon is G, but also if your em weapon is empty, you can just left click. So then you've got kick slide. I don't know what the difference between dive and kick slide are, but I guess one is an attack and one isn't, potentially. Arm cannon's middle mouse. Flashlight on V is super weird, but F was already taken, so. Uh, you've got a quick reset, but it's on the other side of the keyboard, so you don't hit it by accident. I can kind of appreciate that. Uh, you've got toggle auto run, which I'm a little confused about because, like, there's no run button. So like either you're either you're auto running or you're not, I guess. Like that part I kind of am confused about. And you've got editor controls, which we're not gonna worry about. Um But yeah, let's go ahead and start the campaign. Okay, I do vaguely remember there being difficulty levels. So tempered seems to be the default. The severed seal is experienced, but a little gentler. Enemy accuracy and reaction times are reduced, and you get a little extra invulnerability after taking damage. Restore health and bullet time by defeating enemies. This difficulty increases your final score by 10%. So Cold Steel... Cold Steel is the base as far as score is concerned, and then everything else gets multipliers. Um, a more relaxed experience. The enemy count is lower, and enemies always drop guns with full ammo for your convenience. Okay. Health recharges over time, and you have unlimited bullet time. Oh, unlimited bullet time. Yeah, that's absolutely just, like, uh, super accessibility mode. So, severed se you would think that Severed Steel would be the default setting, because that's literally the name of the game. The definitive Severed Steel experience, and it is. Uh, you may die a lot, but that only makes victory that much sweeter. Generous use of stunts required to survive. Restore health and bullet time by defeating enemies. This difficulty increases your final score by 20%. Sharpen Steel, the Severed Steel experience, but enemies do twice as much damage. That's a lot. Did this, uh, reduce their damage? No, it just increases your iframes. And then Molten Steel, for those who do not fear death, the Severed Steel experience, but with only one health point. So that is your one hit and you're dead mode. Of course, they have to have one of those. So, should we start on Tempered or should we go straight for Severed? I feel like we should at least see what Severed Steel difficulty is like to begin with if that's supposed to be the definitive experience so we'll start on that and we'll see what happens and i guess i'll start my timer and we've got cutscenes 
One thing that I want to note is that they changed the, uh, the cover art for the game at some point. I honestly kind of like the old one better. The new one is more anime-styled. But I thought the main character looked really cool in the old artwork. Okay. What am I looking at? I- yeah, I'll probably want to turn off Bloom. I think the thing that's confusing me also is, like, the reflectiveness. Okay, sliding can actually be pretty slow. What? Okay, so slide is a toggle. Slide down stairs for a boost in speed. I don't think that's how stairs work, but okay. Uh... I should keep an eye on whether I'm dropping rendering frames. Because that first kick apparently just, like, lagged the entire game for some reason. Jump, climb, dive. Oh, I can double jump. Okay. Did not expect that. Oh, that's weird. If you, if you jump while you're sliding, you come out of the slide, but then, like, a full second later is when you jump. Okay, so yeah, you can... Oh, I guess I was supposed to... Uh, okay, so dive is just basically a long jump. It's like, that's a jump. D dive feels very similar to a long jump, honestly. I'm not sure I understand the point. Or am I going through here? Oh, does, does diving reduce my hitbox? Yeah, okay. So, you can't jump through that, but you can dive through that. So you have to understand what it does to your hitbox. Uh, chain a double jump into a dive. Uh, I barely ledge grabbed that, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> well, I just bounced into the middle of nowhere. God, it starts all over, okay. Okay, yeah, you can actually make it over that. Uh, press F while jumping to kick off a wall. That's- that feels a little weird, but okay. Alright, now it's time for wall running. Oh, shit. Can I- can I save this? Yup! <laughs> Wall running in this is basically as broken as wall grinding in Echo Point Nova. Dodge bullets, so. Uh. uh, okay, apparently you can just slide through doors, too. I am gonna have a very hard time with this game, I feel like. Okay, yeah, kicking is actually, like, there's no reason to kick, because you can just slide through things and do the same thing. I feel like there's no reason to kick. Empty weapons are marked with an X, pick one up by pressing E. Why would I want to pick up an empty we weapon, though? That seems useless. Okay, throw empty weapons, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have dove, I should have jumped, apparently. didn't work. Uh-oh, okay. This definitely doesn't feel nearly as good to me as Echo Point Nova did. <laughs> Destroy the terminal. There are enemy troops nearby. Their bullets always miss while you are doing stunts. Dive, slide, and wall runs your, your way to victory. Oh. Wow, okay. I wanted to be up there, probably, but okay. I have to remember that I have bullet time. Uh, what do I have to- what do I do with this? It's making it look like I should be able to interact with this, but... 
can't do anything with it. That was a bad idea. Oh, he's not dead. Where's my he oh, I have half health. It's at the bottom right. I go through here? I seem to not be able to go through there. That works. Alright, where am I actually trying to go? Right where I was, I think. Oh, no, I don't want to go down there again. Who was shooting at me? Alright, so... I'm supposed to just blow it up. Alright. <laughs> Should have thought of that part. Tell me I picked up a new weapon. I can't hit these guys with anything. I don't know how none of those shots hit that guy. Unless he just takes a lot of hits. Alright, so it said enter the hatch, which I assume is actually that. Yep, okay. I made that level much harder than it needed to be. Also, I should probably be paying attention to the audio balance, but it seems like it's probably okay. Maybe a little bit on the hard, uh, high side. This is a bad idea. Alright, yeah, let's try that again. Oh, they got shields too? That's that could be trouble. Oh, do I have a shotgun now? That seems cool. I still don't know where I'm actually going. Maybe in here. That was pretty cool. Alright, so what am I doing? I'm blowing that up. The problem is everything is red, so I can't see... I can't see the objectives and shit because they're just as red as literally everything else. So I'm kind of curious. Where was that high viz objective setting? Also, I might turn off um, motion blur while I'm at it and see if that improves visibility. So far, the flashes haven't actually been like bothering me, but where was that setting? I thought it was in here. It was. I didn't go... Oh, yeah, there you go. Let's try that. That might help a little bit. Okay, so we just had to destroy a thing and then go somewhere. Destroy the pistons. All right, but we got to go upstairs to do that, I guess. I just dashed right by that guy. That was kind of silly. Oh, shit. I 
shouldn't be running right towards these guys. Yeah, let's let's start that over again. There's stairs right next to me. Let's try starting there. That's not a good start. I got rid of a bunch of dudes. Should probably pick up one of their weapons. This game just seems very chaotic to me. Also, it kind of feels like I have a ton of freaking slow mo. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be blowing up. I was hoping I could do that without having to, like, get all the way up in there. Oh, that worked. Did that get both of them, though? I think it did. They're on the top level. Wait, can I? Yeah, I can totally do that. Yep. Alright, so how are we getting up to the remaining pistons? They're right there. Get out! Alright. Jeez, they don't have to be rude about it. Well, now I'm, like, bouncing off walls when I don't even mean to be. It seems like it takes a while to, like, get used to the movement. Especially with how you interact with walls. Alright, I mean, that works. Now, this just said kill them all, so I guess we really are just killing everything. Hey, KWSX? I like this weapon. I wish I had any indication of, like, how much ammo I have. Ow. Oh, I guess I ran out of slow-mo that time. Okay, but seriously, though, I thought I was supposed to have a bunch of stuff on the HUD, and it sure seems like I don't. So I kind of want to... Actually, the one thing I will say is, like, uh, the mouse sensitivity seems like it's been in an okay place by default, which is not normal. I usually have to adjust that a lot. <laughs> um, was this where the HUD stuff was, or was that in here? That was in here. So they say, like, hide slow-mo and stuff, but as far as I can tell, it's hidden right now. Yeah, so look at that. I just I think these are inverted. Oh no. Maybe not. Okay. It's actually I didn't even realize it's the bottom of the reticle. It's right there. And then I guess the top is my ammo? How did I never notice that? Okay. You're not under fire. Give me a break. I slid into a door and you're saying you're under fire. Somebody needs to grow up. That's what you're supposed to do. You have a grenade launcher, don't you? This guy seems to be kind of tanky. Oh, he's dead. You would think one of these guys would have dropped a gun. Thank you. Ow. 
That was awkward. Okay, there we go. We got him. Yeah, now we have the big gun. That works. He's gone. He's very gone. Destroy the samples. I should have aimed right for him, and I didn't. Yeah, let's try that again. And not miss the dude the, the first time now. There we go. How did that miss? That's a bad place to be, yep. So you're supposed to be invulnerable when you're doing stunts, which should con in include slides and dives, but I'm not sure I believe that. Okay, he's not actually dead. What is going on with my view model right now? Something, se something seemed wrong there. stuff in here. Oh, I could I can go through in alternate ways. That's interesting. Climbing over that is not what I want to do like ever, but it's what I keep doing. He's done. So these are the things we need to destroy. I cannot tell what's going on most of the time. Speedrunning this would be a real spectacle to see someone who knows what they're doing. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. Okay. Why is my gun already- I just picked that up, dude. What kind of rude person drops a unloaded gun? Where am I? Alright, so there's... There's a feedback noise when you kill people. So you have to check for that whenever you make contact. Alright, so I've killed a bunch of dudes. There's only one sample left, it looks like. You know what? I don't care about that guy. I just need to leave. Oh, what did that s I totally missed what that said, because I was looking at chat. Destroy the consoles. Okay. Uh, I feel like they destroyed that before I could even shoot it. Okay, 
Okay, that one okay. Is he dead or not? No, he's not. I was gonna say, I didn't hear the thud. The thud is what tells you they're dead. Oh, is there... Can I get in there from here? Yes, I can. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Whoa, jeez, I'm still sliding. Alright, where else do we gotta be? I probably do need to reduce the game volume a little bit, huh? The music seems like it's at an okay level. Oh, I can go through there. That didn't do anything useful for me, though. Where am I missing? Like, this is not at all where I need to be right now, but... Oh, wait, no, maybe it is. Nope, not really. I can't really destroy that. There's, there's somewhere else... Is that trying to tell me to go somewhere? No, that's just something that's already blown up. Maybe I did need to do more in here. Is this the place that I had just, like, ducked out of before? Uh, whoops. Okay, well, the exit was right there, conveniently enough. Uh, I just got an achievement for something. That's why I wasn't paying attention there. What did I just get? Science and Industry. Complete the R&D and Production... Uh, I guess that says levels. I don't know. It trails off. You gotta love UIs that shrunkate things. Uh, alright, what message do we get here? Find the prototype. If this were JavaScript, that would be easy. Alright, yeah, let me actually try to dial in the audio a bit. I'm assuming game is the all the gun sound effects, so I'm just gonna try to adjust that. I don't know if that had any effect whatsoever. That is apparently not the, not the prototype. Oh, do we have snipers now? Oh. Alright, that works. That was nice. I gotta remember that I can interrupt slides. Alright. I don't know... if it's going to mark this objective because the point is you're supposed to find it. Where is he? There he is. I was like, where is he? Is that... Nope, that's not it. It's like, what am I looking for? There's a lot of things that look like they could be a prototype, but they're not. I, I don't know what happened with that door. Alright, let's try the top floor. Uh, hello. The funny thing is, sometimes I slow-mo when I don't need to, because I, I, because it's right-click, I kind of treat it like an aim-down sights, almost. Here I might use it, though. That's a lot of dudes. I wonder if the prototype has to do with our arm cannon, because I uh, haven't heard anything about the arm cannon button yet. And yeah, middle click doesn't do anything yet, so... There's some... that's probably where we exit once we find the prototype. There, there's uh, probably some amount of progression here. Take this guy out first. Can't believe I missed that. There's 
still more dudes? Jeez. Oh, I have like almost no ammo. Hang on. Okay, interesting change of texture here. This looks like probably the room with the prototype on. Yep. And that looks like the arm cannon. Yep. So that was our chapter one, apparently. That also apparently got us to 100 kills. Either that or there was just progress towards it. I don't know. Sometimes Steam does that. It doesn't show you you're getting an achievement as you progress. Alright, we're Samus now. And yeah, the bottom right clover thing is the health. The HUD seems to be extremely minimal. Come to think of it, the, the map uh, feels like it's Metroid Prime-esque as well. It can destroy almost every wall. Alright, and they're basically telling us to do that now. Alright, sure. Is he already dead? He might already be dead. Enter the vents? Alright, we're not Samus, we're Gordon Freeman, I guess. Also, this music seems a little bit louder. I might want to tweak that as well. That seems like it didn't really do much, actually. What the hell? Okay, that does eventually do something. behind me. I, I, sh I should have been should have been using slow-mo. going to plan. Um, okay. I was, I was, uh, hunting something along with me there. Alright, where are these vents we're supposed to be going through? Also... We should have... oh, there we go. We should also have some kind of arm cannon indicator. I guess that's in the bottom left. Oh, hi. You are taking way too much effort to kill. Oh, jeez. Go through there. That's not where I wanted to go, actually. I need to go up there. Time to do platforming. There we go. Oh, but I need to be in there, don't I? Yeah, I sure do. So how do we get in? They did say, uh, enter the vents. Is, is this... Nope. <laughs> I wonder how long it takes for that to recharge. Because, yeah, that is the bottom left thing. Or do I just enter it from wherever the hell I want? Is that supposed to be the idea? Okay, it just... Yep, that's that's what you do. And it just recharges over time eventually, too. Destroy fan power. I guess we're riding this up? Yep. Uh, kicking is very suspect in this game. Yeah, I'm dead already, basically. Oh, uh, that's the thing I'm supposed to... Well, it's destroyed now, apparently.
Oh, that's not what I wanted. This is a bad idea. All down the vents. Which vent? Apparently that one. Uh, this is probably a terrible idea. I think, uh, yep, that, that counted as dying. Alright, we gotta do the whole thing over again. That was me, uh, trying to take a shortcut that didn't exist. Um, okay. I don't know what happened to that guy, but rip. I can't see anything. <laughs> Oh, this is where we're supposed to go down. Okay. I just picked the wrong one. Now what are we doing? I tend to not be able to see what I'm doing at all when I'm kicking. Well, that, that was an idea, but I don't think I can get that low, so we're not doing that idea after all. I was like, can I just skip everything by doing that? Ow. Uh, what? How did I end up up there? I don't know. I'm glad that I seem to be impervious to all the fireballs that I end up causing. Alright, so now what do we need to do? There's another objective down there? Okay. I don't think I can get down there yet, though. Come on. I can try shooting through a floor somewhere, I guess, but... Nope. I bet the speedrun has some absolute shenanigans. Oh wait, this is stopped now. Okay, so maybe we can we can go through there now. So the objective is to eventually go down there, but I don't think we can do that yet. Or we can do that instead. Oh, that was downstairs. I was already there, wasn't I? I think I just like completely missed that. So is this... Yeah, this is off now. What side are we going to next? Uh, I guess that's actually where I'm going. This is a very big staircase. Man, 
This, this, all of a sudden, the stages have gotten extremely long. Oh, that is the end of the stage. Okay. Activate space cube. I assume that's not the space cube. Uh, is that- he's not dead. No, okay. That would appear to be the space cube. Alright, did we activate it? I guess, there seems to be another one. And it's not down here, so I'm probably- oh, nope, we're not going the wrong way, because we can go up this way. I just grabbed a weapon through a wall, don't worry about it. That's how you really feel, jeez. Oh, I wanted to go under that. Well, he didn't get to land. I keep jumping entirely over what I want to actually do. Curled him by throwing the gun. Alright, that works. Destroy anti-gravity what? Uh, there's stuff all over the place for this. Okay. Oh, those things. Okay. Uh, oh shit. Um, I think I'm dead. Yep. Cool. I just jumped into a void, apparently. Destroy anti-gravity substances. It gave us a checkpoint. Alright, interesting. I definitely appreciate not having to do the entire first part of the map again. I see. Uh, this is actually outside. <laughs> Surprise, and you can't wall run there. Like, what? I think that's the more surprising part, actually. Yeah, you seriously can't wall run on that. Why would you, you know, build the entire game up on you can wall run and then suddenly not be able to wall run? Oh, there goes his shield. Would have been great if the shield took that guy out. Alright, he's dead. Oh my- I didn't tell you to go that way! What are you doing? Alright, uh, one of the things is right in here. Another of the things is also right in here. Actually, you know what? I want to change one of the settings that I've been curious about. I want to know what the voxel physics thing does, so I'm going to turn that on. I suppose we could try turning the bloom off, but I haven't been... I've been kind of getting used to it. Oh, yeah. I think I think there was maybe a little bit more debris there. I don't know. What's left? Uh, hi. <laughs> okay. Good talk. Uh, I probably shouldn't go that way. I was 
hoping that would work. It didn't work. He's still not dead. Please take this guy out. I was at a slow-mo too, so it's a good thing that we finally did manage to do that. Oh, come on, dude. objectives. I was hoping I could climb up there, but that might save me some time. Only a little, I guess. Oh, didn't want to do that. Let's go back in. <laughs> um, where are the things? Holy crap, this is a big map. Alright, there's one in there. <laughs> hey, Prime. Yeah, a very slip and slide. Too much so in some cases. Uh, I mean, I guess I could, like, jump through to that window down there, maybe. Oh, wait, there's one right here. That'll work. And I think I actually had to do that. Does that count as done? I don't even- I don't have to destroy the, uh, the GameCube around it, just the thing itself. Alright, so I can go through here. Can I make it through there? Please? Nope. I'm dead. We have to do it all over again. I wanted to take a little shortcut there. It didn't work. So we gotta do it all over again. Oh, cool, I have a player model, apparently, and I can't see because of it. Dude, what? Thank you. Whoops. It's so hard to actually fit through here because there's the lip on the platform. with basically all of that. What? I didn't open that. Yeah, you opened that. So, I'm killing a lot of dudes. I haven't found any of the things, though. There's a lot of dudes in here. What is that guy doing? Excuse me. How are you jumping that high? That was a sound he made. I guess we can all double jump, uh, is the idea. I guess we're no scoping now? Like, this looks like a sniper rifle, sort of. Or at least it has a really big scope on it. Alright, can we maybe find one of the things we're supposed to destroy in here somewhere? been through so many rooms and have found nothing. Yeah, I do not want to go through there again. That ended up being a very bad idea. And I can't go down that way. Like, I'm on the wrong floor for basically everything. Except maybe one thing up here.
All right. Who else is shooting at me from in here? Send it a stern fax next time. There we go. Uh, you know what? I gotta remember I have an arm counter. Where the hell am I? Thank you. I gotta use the arm cannon more often to get where I need to go. Uh... Nope, not a good idea. Oh, hey, look, this is probably the thing that I tried to slide into before that I failed miserably and had to restart everything. Yeah, that's one of them. Actually, it's two of them. I did the fucking thing that I said I shouldn't do. Fortunately, I can dive through one of these windows. Where does this put me? Cool, I did all of them, but I have no weapon now. Where is... where is the get-out point? Oh, it's right there. Hey, we did it. It was extremely unwieldy, but wait, what are we doing now? Catch the train. Oh, boy. That's not where I wanted to be, but okay. I probably shouldn't be trying to just pacifist this. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> Those guys blend in with the frickin' tiles. Or the tiles, like, hide them really well. Alright, where are we actually heading to? That was confusing. Uh, does this count as boarding? No, it's, it's down there somewhere. This is the wrong train, apparently. That's blowing me upwards, so I can't go down that way. Down, down seems good. So that seems like the very wrong way to be going. Yeah, 
this maybe? Yeah, this seems more promising. Oh, I ran out of time though. Yeah, so the problem here was just finding out where to go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not where I want to be at all. Where the fuck am I going? Like, there's a lot going on here, and meanwhile, we just want to find our way through, and it's hard to do that. I suppose I've been, like, taking detours to not follow the line. But yeah, alright, wait, hang on. I had been thinking this was the way to go before. Is this not actually helpful? I guess that's not actually helpful. Alright, then let's not do that anymore. There's got to be shortcuts to this, that- Wait, what? That's it? <laughs> I was getting that lost in that place, and that's all I had to actually do? Oh, now we got some Mission Impossible shit, and I just accidentally scaled the wall instead of going through the door. supposed to be- no? Uh... Yeah, I guess I am supposed to do that. Jump to train. I just did that, though. I should not be doing this. me a waypoint over here, though. Oh, they're not kidding. Yeah, you really do need to jump to the other train. Uh, that works. Oh, jeez. Hi. I still want to be landing here. Thank you. Uh, which... Whoa, jeez. Don't fall off the train, please. Alright, that works. Uh, what on earth? That's one. Is the other on the other train? Oh, no, don't fall off the track, please. Thank you. Holy crap. Enemy train inbound. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Where am I going now? Like, I don't see a waypoint anywhere. Destroy armored train engine. Ah, okay. I am totally in the wrong place for this.
is shooting me. I want to get in there, please. All right, well, whatever. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. This is kind of hard to see. Too many dudes. Did I just do the thing? I, I was just shooting the guy. But apparently I did the thing while also shooting the guy. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't make me also, you know, escape. It's really interesting to look back at the Echo Point Nova demo in retrospect of this, because, like, I actually feel like the Echo Point Nova demo is a lot easier to visually parse than this game is. Okay. Oh, okay. How did that kick not hit you? Did I hear a grenade launcher? Yeah, I sure did. Ow. Okay. What did that say about the weak point? Shoot the weak point. For massive damage, I imagine. I don't know what that is. It looks important, but I guess it's not. What would? Uh, excuse me. What was that? Somebody had a flamethrower. That's new. Oh, I see. That, yeah, there's a big skull on, icon on that. So I need to make sense of what's going on in that room. Preferably after I deal with all these guys. Oh, come on. I swear, kicking is impossible. Oh no, okay, it's a dude with a flamethrower. Last time I thought it was something stationary. I didn't see the legs. Yeah, sliding upstairs seems seems. I, I guess we got to be glad it's not carpeted. Uh, yeah. So he's setting all the walls on fire. I imagine that works kind of similarly to my uh, arm cannon. Does that kill them? Apparently not. Oh, I don't want to be over there, please. Thank you. I can't see anything. Oh, do not dash that way.
Where is the weak point, though? I mean, like, I guess I have to kill this guy first? Because that's the only target, seemingly. Oh, we just killed Waluigi. I can't believe it. There was an attempt to do something with the arm cannon. It didn't seem to work. Is he running away now? How is he hitting me from that far away? How? I'm sorry, but the flames are nowhere near me, and he's still hitting me. Oh, that's not good. Flames are right on me. I don't know if that really hit him. He's down here now. Can you hit your own guys? That would be that would be useful to me. I am in a bad place now. Oh, cool. Found a back way out. Uh, and now someone else is about to kill me. Shit. Yep, died again. I don't think so, because my gun also causes those. Alright, he's dead. There was someone behind me, probably? I don't know. What on earth just happened? There was one right over there, getting stuck in a doorway. Oh shit, don't go that way. What was this shooting at? Uh, he, so he can flamethrower right through the wall, too, apparently. That could be part of the problem. How are you not dead, dude? Now he is. Oh, 
Well, that kind of got him. Um... He's gonna end up, like, burning me from below or something. of like what kind of health he has either. Also I have like no ammo. Uh is that where it came in? I guess so. Well at this point it's me versus him, but uh uh does that also have no ammo? But um <laughs> I think he's having a problem right now. He's just stuck on these stairs over here. Uh, I really have no way of knowing. Oh, also, I have no arm cannon ammo. Why do I? I guess I only get that back when uh, I kill things. I don't know, this guy sure seems un unhittable. And the level said, like, kill the weak point or something. Shoot the weak point. But, like, what weak point? All I see is flames. Uh... So interesting. The back is probably the weak point. Well, at least I have something with ammo now. So it seems like you'll auto-heal up to, like, a quarter of your health or something. There you go. You somehow have to get behind him, which uh, is probably easier said than done. Destroy the consoles again. Right. Oh. Did he just... Okay, that counts as dying. Yeah, alright. Almost ain't me doing that. There is a lot of void in this level. Clearly. Alright, so... Consoles are apparently up there. That works. That works. What on earth is that in the middle there? Holy shit. Alright, so where are the other consoles? Jeez, this weapon is strong. But it only has like four shots. 
Uh, I guess that works. Oh, I see. Uh, we probably have to get that after we destroy the consoles, huh? And stealing the data is, yep, this thing. And then, get out. Which is apparently up here somewhere. Uh, where am I going? There we go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, the music, the music is uh, pretty good for the most part. Well, this is interesting looking. Oh god, we've got flying dudes. Or at least it looked like there might have been flying dudes. We've got drones. Yeah, we definitely have flying dudes. Alright, well, if I can lure them to an early grave, that works. I see, we're supposed to destroy those. Okay, that works. Uh, I just skipped one, didn't I? Yep. Did I skip one earlier, though? I'm a little worried about that. Seems like I probably didn't. Oh, we got snipers in the middle. Uh, wow, for a second I couldn't really see the ground there. Somebody just offed themselves, I guess. Oh, jeez. Can I salvage this? Maybe. Okay, I guess I was supposed to go that way. Yep. And now I am going where? Oh, that's em empty, isn't it? No, this has stuff. Uh, can I climb through that? Hmm. Perhaps I should just use the stairs like a civilized person. Kind of. That works. Blast through the exit. Okay. If you say so. What is that guy doing? That guy seems to be doing irresponsible things. That was tanky. Oh, I have a grenade launcher now. Surprise. This seems uh, problematic. Actually going here. Oh, right here. Am I seriously just supposed to shoot it enough times until I blast the root of it? I'm not sure that's going to work. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> you need to hit it, like, I don't know, five or so times? Disable locking system. 
Oh boy, what are we doing here? Should I be worried about, like, not stepping on those orange things? They look like they could be bad. Uh... Oh, I didn't realize I can, like... Wait, did it do that, or did I do that with the kick? Uh, it did that, okay. Uh... Huh. Bonk. Wait, that one didn't do anything. I'm confused. And that doesn't do anything. But that definitely blows things up. Wow, there go the stairs. Alright. Okay. Uh... Okay, standing on these does not hurt me. Do I need to, like... Basically, make all of these not be lit anymore. Is that is that the goal? Nope. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna ledge grab that, but apparently I was. Surprise. Whoa, shit. Did I do that? Oh, apparently I do have an objective, and it's up there. Uh, if I could maybe get a more centered thing, will this actually let me through there? Yes, it will! Oh, jeez. Now we've got a, uh, board mode, apparently. There's a lot of stuff shooting at me. Do I actually have to go back down there now? Somebody died. I didn't do anything. I was hoping to land on that. That wasn't particularly graceful. Why is everything shielded? Yeah. Uh, does this at least... Nope. I have to do the whole thing over again. Okay. So I have to get back up to the top again. Which doesn't take very long if you actually do it correctly. Hey Mike. I just wasted two bullets there. worked a lot better that time. Can I stop sliding though? Holy shit. Alright, that was only wave one though. And I'm out of slow-mo. Not want to be down here. I don't know if I can hit from from there. I think he might be behind a wall. All right, all right. There's three waves. That's good to know. I don't like that sound. Yeah, let's get rid of the guys who were trying to explode me first. Or is that all of them? They might all be trying to do that. 
this is a bad idea. Okay, we did it. Enter the control tower. Is that also up here? Uh, well, this is awkward. There we go. Okay. And that was chapter three. Now, this is not a demo. This is the full game. This came out a couple years ago. I played the demo for this a couple years ago. <laughs> well, uh, your friend had good timing, I guess. Oh, wait, what? I, I keep, like, looking at chat, and then I miss the message at the beginning of the level that tells you what to do. Power up the fan. Okay. I don't know, that one looks pretty powered up already. Uh-oh. But, uh, it's pretty interesting. It took- it definitely takes some acclimating. I need another gun. There was another dude out here. There is. He's over there now. Oh, he's flying. That's why. I tried to leave my shot. It didn't really work. Alright, that works. Yeah, happy landings. Alright, can I get another gun in here? Oh, I already got another gun. Because you automatically pick stuff up if you're empty. Okay. Did I jump over something? No. Okay. So I guess we're just activating each of these floor plates. It'd be cool if I could, like, get up through the ceiling. I'm not sure that's actually gonna... What? Hello, where am I? Alright, let's just get back where I was for a second. I was hoping I could get up there directly. But wait, how far up will this get me? Okay. So, I guess each time we hit a platform, it's actually... Enabling us to use that middle fan to get higher. And I've just been trying to, you know, climb around the outside and do my own thing. You brought Super Hot? Yeah. Um, this and I, I said that about Echo Point Nova as well, which is the next game by this developer, and that demo I played during Next Fest in June. Because you got the slowdown mechanic. Actually, with, uh, with Echo Point Nova, it's even more of the case because the enemies are also... I feel like the enemies feel more Super Hot-esque in Echo Point Nova. They don't have the full-blown, like, you know, almost camo suits that they do in this. They do have suits, though, but I feel like they're much more, like, monotone. Oh, I guess we're done. Okay. But yeah, this actually has a uh, one or two speedrun related options. What did that say about a relaxation exercise? Excuse me? Begin the relaxation exercise. Okay. Snipers seem like they could be a problem. Feels like these guys need to start the relaxation exercise early. Release your stress. Um, what is going on here? I see a lot of lights. And I have no idea... ...what all is happening.
Do I hear another flamethrower, dude? I hope not. I was hoping I could wall run there. Oh, there's a staircase right there. That'll work. idea. Wait, is that the, is, that's not that new build engine game, is it? I see, they're trying to give me an idea here of, you should wall jump against these, or wall run against these things. It doesn't use that? I was thinking it did. I'm... I wasn't particularly interested in that one. I saw some screenshots and stuff. It, it seemed to be appealing to the type of, uh... Boomer Shooter fan that I'm not. This ammo is going to last me. Alright, that works. Uh, so now what? Uh, not sure what he's doing. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, do not do a dive, otherwise you can't wall run. I suppose that kind of makes sense. I don't think Guy Fieri would be able to wall run either. Nope, I wouldn't have been interested in it in 2006 either. Go back to work? When did I stop working? I've just been shooting guys the entire time. Not sure what that guy was doing. He, he must have been relaxing, I guess. Alright, so where am I... Am I supposed to be going in there? Oh, shit. I was in a weird spot there. I haven't done that in a while. That doesn't seem to help me, though. We'll just go up the long way. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, wait. How far up will this take me? Not very? Oh, but it will take me up there. Okay. There we go. That was a little confusing. I did not pay attention to the message, again. Destroy security system, okay. Uh, hi. Enter second floor. Still another one? There sure is. That 
was the wrong button. Uh. Oh, that was the end level, though. I feel like I entered that not the way you were supposed to enter that, but okay. Oh, we found bathrooms. All right, very important. Why was he, like, translucent? Hang on. Oh, because of the... I don't know if that's a shield or what exactly. No, they're all like that. This seems new. Alright, can you guys stop shooting at me? I need to inspect the bathrooms. Well, you can destroy the toilets. I don't think there's a way to flush them, though. That was the important thing that I needed to, uh, investigate. Also, I'm not familiar with Hypnospace Outlaw, either. Just realizing I missed that message in the middle. Uh, I mean, I haven't played that many. The only one I really played was, uh, Blood. And Blood, I had a really rough time with the first episode, but beyond that, I... I was okay with it, at the very least. Yeah, are these guys, like, cloaked or something? Interesting scenery in this level, though. Oh, this guy's not cloaked. Okay, these levels seem actually pretty short now. Blood is the best one anyway. Yeah, I never... I remember trying the, uh... I remember trying Shadow Warrior once and not really getting into it. After playing about probably two-thirds of the first of the new Shadow Warrior games. I never played the the second one. The first one I got... The first new Shadow Warrior game, I got to a point where there was a boss battle that took me, like, ten minutes, and then it just, like, did something that just insta-killed me or something, or I didn't feel like I really had any agency in the situation, and then it started the entire fight o over, and I was like, hmm... I don't like this game anymore. Erase the portable data. supposed to be taking that? That has a symbol on it. But what am I supposed to do with it? I guess blow it up. Alright, that works. Oh, that's not a good time to run out of uh, weapon. What just happened there? <laughs> the way that kick turned me around was very confusing. We gotta remember to blow up the one in here. Wow, I'm getting decimated here. The internet correct opinion. The wrong opinion. <laughs> it's the correct wrong opinion to have. That guy just, like, didn't move for a full second, so I thought he was just oblivious, but now he actually did wake up. about getting rid of these enemies before I worry about destroying the stuff. Honk. Uh, somebody died and I didn't do it.
That is a, <laughs> a faulty staircase at this point. There's your voxel physics right there. Something is very wrong here. Like, did one of them get yeeted out the window? I'm a little worried about that. Also, those things take way too much effort to destroy. Messing around with Bluetooth. So, uh... The, uh, the new wireless card I ended up getting would have supported Bluetooth, except I would have needed a free USB connector on my motherboard to use it, and I don't have a free USB connector. <laughs> so, I am still Bluetoothless. Otherwise, I could use Bluetooth for the keyboard that I uh, got a while ago. I should probably be using the arm cannon for those, given that they destroy entire pieces of wall and floor anyway. Uh, alright, so is the only one left the one that I am worried that I yeeted it into oblivion? Because I think it is. Uh... Yeah, what?! <laughs> Did I just blow off a hole in the space-time continuum? Yeah, you can't actually go through there. Either that's in a completely different part of the building, or I glitched it. I would like to not be wasting as much ammo as I'm wasting. Okay, something weird happened there, where suddenly I was trying to move right, and it wouldn't let me move right. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, we're doing all this over again. Oh, I think he's dead already. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Bye. <laughs> that was the wrong place to do that. How are you not dead, dude? That did not destroy the thing. That did. But yeah, I really gotta just focus on killing the dudes first. And they can kill you real fast. Apparently I'm out of slow-mo. Again, it felt like the place, the directions I was moving were not the directions I was telling it to move. <sighs> Would have been nice if I could have, you know, actually finished the level before. Alright, again. What? What the fuck is going on? Alright, hang on. Is my keyboard actually glitching out, or is the game glitching out? Hang on, I need to test something. Keyboard seems fine. Nope, keyboard is not fine. 
speaking of keyboard, uh, hmm, that's disconcerting. Sometimes my D key doesn't actually stay held down now. I've had this keyboard for less than a year. And it may be going on the fritz already. Uh, this is the K100 Air by Corsair. Don't buy it, apparently. Um, although actually I'll have to see... I still have the box from it. I'll have to see what the warranty on it is. I'm pretty sure I've had it for less than a year. Uh, so yeah, that kind of hampers my ability to play the video game. I may have to go back to my old keyboard, which gets the F key stuck a lot, but I still have it in the closet. Uh, I'm gonna try a little bit more, and if it continues to be a problem... Yeah, it's still being a problem. I can't believe that a $300 keyboard would be that crappy. Like, this this does not have uh, cheap keys, or at least it shouldn't. He's dead now. That works pretty well. I can't... No, it's too late to ask for a return. They only do returns within 30 days, and I've definitely had it for far longer than that. Does this thing ignore shields? Actually, what even... This isn't the grenade launcher, right? What is this? It sure seems to just, uh, immediately erase whatever you point at. Well, now I'm out of ammo for it. <clears throat> Alright, let's figure out where the other things are. It doesn't seem like there's one in the middle of the void now, so that's encouraging. Yeah, this keyboard's gonna be a problem. The, I, I got this keyboard specifically because it was the only one I could find that gave, you know, somewhat of a feel kind of like uh, chiclet keys, but it's actually ultra low profile mechanical keys. And it does feel nice to type on. Although I will say that, uh,. It's very typo-prone. So I don't know, I may just need to, like, suck it up and find another type of keyboard that I can tolerate. I... the one I was replacing is a super old, original Razor, uh... Deathstalker. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. And that actually was a chiclet key membrane keyboard. Yeah, so I had no problem finding the things that time. I'm pretty sure one of them had glitched out. Uh, alright, I'm just gonna ignore you guys, right? Yep, good talk. Uh, I didn't catch the first word of that. Oh god, are there tripwires or something? Is that what I'm- or is it just snipers? It's just snipers. Snipers or enemies with laser sights, one way or the other. Is there a flamethrower, dude? Like, I didn't do that. Yes, there is a flamethrower, dude. Okay. I have something to worry about in this level. Yep, we're just, we're just destroying them. Fortunately, they're easier to destroy than the things in the previous level. That was maybe not a good idea. That was not a good idea. Hack the computers? Well, it seems like it wants me to blow them up anyway. That guy's freaking shooting flames through the ceiling, excuse me.
did it actually air quote it? Because then that would explain a lot. that guy. Right, we need to hit him from the back or just avoid engaging him altogether. So, oh god damn it, there were dudes following me. Yep, there's the air quotes, okay. I'm in a bad place. Uh, still in a bad place. Yeah. Yeah, it would be like the SA1 patch for uh, Gradius 3. mistake I made last time. I'm making it again. Uh, I was trying to go out the top. Why is it not letting me climb there? That's what I was trying to do. Now we're running uh, loops. Nope, don't go that way. Shit, get out of there. Uh, that was a bad idea. We found another bathroom, though. You definitely cannot climb in that room. Alright, where do we actually need to go? That's bad. Uh, apparently there was a dude at the other end too. There's just dudes everywhere. How did I miss that? Jeez. Not what I wanted. God, dude. Get out of there. Alright, I got that one. Uh, what just happened to that guy? Holy crap. Uh, I actually... Come on. I can never see what I'm actually getting shot at because there's just so many dudes. I need
need to stop trying to be fancy at the beginning. That's a little better. I need a what I could have had him down. I absolutely could have had him down. Oh my god. That's so annoying. If I had a fucking weapon with ammo on it, I could have gotten the flamethrower, dude. That didn't hit a guy, really? He's over here, though. Enter Hidden Passage. No, why is he between me and the Hidden Passage? This is awful. I seriously need to get past this guy. Oh, and I have no... Uh, arm cannon left. Oh boy, and I'm gonna die and have to do it over again. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. What? He fell through the floor, but someone else killed me. That was pretty funny, though. So I can actually dunk him. That's a strategy. Don't want to go that way. Shit. He's running away. Okay, this- oh shit, I did not want to- god fucking damn it. Thanks game for doing not what I wanted you to do. I would have had a clear path to it that time. And then I just dove off of a ledge that I had no intention of diving off of. Yeah, that time I ran out of slow-mo. No, I could see how this would be very tiresome to uh, watch with all of the, you know, slow mo whiplash going on.
shit. Did not want to go all the way over that way. Please pick up a weapon. Thank you. You're getting shot through the windows in the middle of the room. Did I just shoot him through the shield? Uh, weapon, please, thank you. That's the flamethrower guy. I'm going right towards him. I made an attempt. Wait, are there two of them? Hang on a second. Are there seriously two flamethrower dudes? I ran out of slow-mo right there. I, I am so pissed off that there's one time that I was basically done with the level, and then, uh, apparently my character is a lemming. How am I not hitting you? There we go. That's not what I wanted. Okay, don't go that way. Is there another dude in here? Oh. It, but, but, awkward. to this wall. They say that when you're performing stunts, you automatically dodge all bullets, but I am not finding that to be the case in this map. Also, apparently my keyboard is cooperating again? I don't, I don't freaking know. Okay, we got that one. Oh, I have the flamethrower now? Holy shit, I didn't know I could pick that up. Alright. Who the hell else is still firing at me? I'm surprised I can move this fast with it. Alright, well he's dead. Alright, uh, it seems kinda quiet now. 
I never actually... Isn't that usually the first one I get? Maybe not. Alright, we need to be on the top floor. There are still more dudes up here. Whoa, okay. That's not working. I'm gonna need a- oh god, I better not die here. This is really getting to be stupid. The goal is right there. We made it. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna be really, really mad. Activate the portals? Holy crap, where the heck are we now? Uh, okay. You're not actually supposed to go in there, I guess. Alright, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's been freaking hot as hell here this week, too. But, uh, have a good night, Mike. Thanks for hanging out. Ah, we've got very- we have- we have reached purple. I don't know what I'm actually trying to do here. It's probably not this, though. Uh, so there is a waypoint. It's all the way the heck down there. Okay. Uh, alright. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't go diving through portals with reckless abandon, apparently. Forty troops incoming. Uh-oh. these guys have dropped something. Thank you. Also, there's a huge portal below us. That's, uh, interesting. Wait, who the hell's shooting at me? That is very yellow. Holy shit. Should I go through here? I guess so. There's dudes in here. Oh, we got a flamethrower, dude. Uh, that works, I guess. I probably don't want this. Uh, I probably don't want that either, but that'll work for this guy, and then we can take his gun. Who is 
left. Is that a dude all the way up there? Sure looks like it. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, maybe I should have. Apparently there's more dudes in here. Oh my god, what is happening to my viewport right now? So I guess the bottom portal just yeets you out the top, huh? Uh, why is that on fire? I think that is where the flamethrower guy died. There's still a dude all the way on top. I would like to get up there, but the easiest way to get up there is probably to use the portal. Yep, and there's more inside there. All right. That didn't seem to work. I guess I'll just jump in through the window. Maybe. That'll work. Uh, no it won't. <laughs> well. I mean, I hope it's not given they just introduced the portals mechanic. It would be really sad if this were a finale, but I can see your point, too. There's a dude behind me, isn't there? Alright, that'll work. Get to control room. Uh, there was text there that I couldn't read because it was super fast. I think, I think someone might have mentioned that there's, like, loading screen hints, but if your game loads really fast, then you can't really see them. Nope, we're not done. But we just took a portal somewhere. Get to the exit. Can barely read that message because of all of the bright blue stuff going on. Oh, they're just giving us weapons now? Yeah, we can actually take a moment to, like, appreciate that they have names and stuff. That's... is that the, uh... Actually, you know what I should experiment with right here is the screen shake thing. Because there's definitely a lot of... Yeah, okay, so that just eliminates the screen shake entirely. Which I can see that making things a lot easier for people uh, to watch. I forgot to pick a weapon. Are they both dead? I think they're both dead. Yeah, this weapon just absolutely obliterates everything. Was he just falling down the stairs? Did I just save him from embarrassment? Wow. 
Was he shooting me through the wall? That seems a little cheap. Did that guy just drop his wine glass? I will say that disabling the screen shade definitely feels like it it very visibly affects feedback. It does the screen shake and this does make things more satisfying. And it seems like it's strictly related to, you know, weapon firing. slow-mo. I was not getting rid of the shield guys as, fa as fast as I wanted to. So all of the, uh, all the, all of the rotation, like all of the rolling that happens is automatic. And you kind of just have to learn to react to what it's doing to you. Uh, sup? <laughs> that worked. That wasn't quite what I intended, but that was pretty funny, though, that I managed to, well, I would say get the drop on somebody, but it was kind of the opposite. Probably didn't do myself any favors. Where the heck am I right now? Wait, is there a dude down there? No, I don't know what that is. Alright, so our goal is up here somewhere. There's also another dude down, a couple floors down, but I guess I don't need to worry about. Uh, I see, there's stairs here. That one dude gets to live, I guess. Uh, I got an achievement for 200 headshots, therefore I didn't read what the level said at the beginning. Eliminate the VIPs. Oh no. I hope, I hope the VIPs don't all have flamethrowers. these guys coming from? Alright, so now where are we going? Uh, up here? Uh, yeah, that's the flamethrower, dude. I was hoping that would blow him up. I don't have any weapon. This is terrible. Oh my god, dude. I'm just trying to get through the door. This is, this is kind of harsh. There we go. What? Th this guy was just there the whole time? Where? 
Are there dudes, like, right outside? Okay, that's why I'm confused. Because there's dudes right outside these, uh, windows, and you can't tell because... They've got, like, a fake skybox in here. Okay, well, I'm not quite dead, I guess. Uh, is that... wait. There we go. And get out. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, could you, could you go up again? Cool. It kind of looks like you're supposed to... I should probably focus on getting rid of these guys. And then figure out how to get out. There's a dude up there? Yeah, there's definitely a bunch of dudes up there. Okay, wait, there is another level I can go up. Okay. Totally missed that other uh, air current over there. Uh, oh god, that said something about snipers. I'm never ready for the beginning of level message. Defeat the snipers. Suddenly, this feels like a neon white level. Of course, I think this game came out first. I'm glad that worked out. Where does this go? Uh... That's interesting. Wow, this place is very colorful all of a sudden. Oh, it only has like two shots when you get an actual sniper rifle. Everything else had had uh, had not been a sniper rifle, so. I did make it, okay. Okay, I can have anywhere between, uh, one and five, I suppose. I wish you could, like... Either that guy's gun was empty, or... I don't know. I can't see him, because of the skull icon. Oh, jeez. Well, it says get out, but also everybody is here now. Yeah, I'm getting out. <laughs> Ascend the towers. Oh, um... I didn't do that. Alright, we, we've got a redux of that one part of, uh, Rot, apparently. there's like one target all the way at the top or something. Oh, this seems like a good gun. Are you dead already? You're dead already. All right. Hoping that would have more ammo in it. There we go. 
Oh, there's our, uh, our goal, apparently. Uh... Where should I... What? <laughs> I can't land on anything because it's all glass. I'm just gonna break everything instead. Okay, I can kind of land there. Not for long. Uh, perhaps we should go this way. Yeah, this weapon seems like a good thing to find near the end. Uh... Ascend further. Okay, great. That was just a checkpoint. Oh boy. Getting some sudden, like, Twilight Princess vibes a little bit, but actually that's just a really reflective room. Okay, the Ascend Further was mostly a joke, I guess. Did that say stay cool, guys? Okay, he's, he's gone. Oh boy. Or do we need to kill the cool guys? Is that what we're doing? Oh, jeez. Why is there a chair? Uh, did I get the one that's in here? No, I don't think so. Or, I guess I did, because the other one's over there, actually. Oh god, where am I? This is very... Oh, that's not good. Alright. I got his weapon, that works. But, uh, yeah, very big stage all of a sudden. Oh no, that's a flamethrower, dude. Okay, I lucked out with that guy. That might not have been a good idea. Fine. I'm afraid of chairs. Actually, was there... Um, I feel like there was... That was reminding me of a uh, Quake map at some point. Maybe I'm just thinking of the mailboxes or something. I mean, I know I have to target the back of the flamethrower, guys. Uh, whether or not I get a good shot at that is another question. Do I have any reason to go in there? I feel like I don't. Oh, that's not good. All right, we're gonna reverse course over here. More chairs. Oh, I need... Okay, I gotta go. Uh, where the heck is shooting at me from where? I see. That would answer that question. Uh... What? I'm pretty sure there's another- Oh god, what? What is that noise? That might be worse than a flamethrower, dude. I think it's just the one target that I have left right now. Nope, there's two. There's at least two. What on earth is going on up there? Shit. 
Didn't realize I hadn't been there before and just got blindsided. Yeah, it did kind of sound like a nail gun. Alright, hang on. What does this message actually say? It, I've been playing this for two and a half hours. Meet six cool guys. I see. You'd think after two and a half hours I would get used to paying attention when the game reloads. Or when it starts a level. I need to stop doing that. Actually, this gun makes that noise. What just... I'm very confused. Hey, there's one of these things that was a target in a previous level. But I guess it's not a target now. Alright, did we even... We didn't even find the guy in here, did we? Uh, hi. He's still further up. Someone was in a hurry. Not a good time to run out of... Not a good time to run out of weapon at all. Oh, come on, dude. Oh my god! Can I blow him up by kicking him? No, we're dead. That was crappy. Yeah, this gun actually does fire super fast. Alright, so that time I managed to, you know, sh cut short all of that time. And I don't really want to be here right now. That's an empty weapon, isn't it? That did not kill him. Um, well, he's down there now. Boy, I wish they had limited ammo while they were alive. Like, they can drop an empty weapon. I didn't think that was gonna work. I'm out of, uh, slow-mo. Is not what I wanted to do, but we got away with it. Uh, I need no. I need. Okay, good. I have a weapon. What does that want? I thought I switched one too many times. Oh, I did not want to do that. All right, this will work maybe. Another flamethrower, dude? Jeez. Okay, so the flying guys have these and fire super fast. Oh, jeez. Alright, he's dead. Uh, 
I need a weapon. Oh, I have a weapon. Okay. Um, everything seems fine in there. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, that this uh, this entire building is is just fine, clearly. Who's shooting at me though? I don't need to be in here. Um, hi. Party at Party Mansion. Okay, I need slow mode to recover. So I guess I killed all of them? There is clearly still dudes alive. Okay, I'll take it. I was just like, one of those passageways was, oh, this looks interesting. One of those passageways was where I ate shit last time and uh, abruptly ended my attempt. So I didn't want that to happen again. So I wanted to be sure I was going right for the door. Start the music. Well, this should be interesting. What on earth is going on? If Major Arlene hasn't played this, she might have to play this just for this level. Uh, there we go. I can't see anything. Okay, now I can see things. This is like literally her level for the Realms Deep Map Jam a couple of years ago. Just like spawning in. Is that what I was kind of hearing and seeing there? I was aiming at this guy, and there was another one in front of him, and I didn't realize it. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Kind of reminds me of that level, the uh, the nighttime level I played in the Trepang 2 demo. In the uh, what was it called? The combat simulator. Uh, that was weird. I was attempting to slide, and it didn't actually do it there for a second. Fight? Final? F I don't know about final fight. This sounds more like Streets of Rage to me. Kind of hard to see the outlines when the ground is also red. I might need to change up what color outline.
missed two shots there, really? Kill somebody, please. Uh, there was a dude right there. I was kind of stuck on something. Leave. Just, just leave. All right. Uh, where do we go to leave? But yeah, the visuals on this level made it a little bit hard to deal with. Uh, no, seriously, where do I go to leave? Uh, that's one way to do it. I think that was where I came in. Find the CEO. Now we might be getting to the actual end. Who knows? Oh, this is fancy. This reminds me... Oh, God. I, I feel like this is at least the second game that I've said this, but this reminds me of some of the later levels in Devil May Cry 2. Yes, that one. The one that nobody wants to remember exists. But it reminds me of that building. We've, we've got extra guns yet. That looks interesting. Oh, uh, is this is this the CEO? It looks more like the Macron, but okay. Uh, I think I need to find. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait. There's more dudes. I was gonna say I'm gonna need to find more ammo somewhere. Well, that ended quickly. Surprise. Yeah, this might actually be the final level. Pretty funny. Fancy meeting you here. Alright, so I need to get a good sense of where the weapons are in the level. Or just wait for them to show up, I guess. That works. Why is there a huge wrench? Oh, he does have a life bar. I was gonna say it'd be nice if he had a life bar, and he does. Also, I never... I didn't realize... I don't know if this has been a thing before, but there's actually very dark text in the top right corner that I never noticed before. Holy shit. Down there? I'm up here. What do you mean, down there? Take the shot. Where is he, then? He's right there. Okay, that answers that question. And he can just erase you in no time at all. Throwing it probably doesn't do a whole lot of damage to him, but... Didn't I just hear some guys walking? Oh no! <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that was totally one of the lines that they took out of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That you used to hear all the guards say, THINK YOU CAN TAKE ME! So I don't know if that's an intentional reference or not. 
is up here? Oh, dudes are up here. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, someone else should have a weapon. That had one freaking bullet in it. Come on, dude. I uh, missed with most of that because of the recoil. Oh, does he have a freaking shield now? Is he climbing stairs? Oh, I got a gun. All right. Oh, shit, it's right there. It feels pretty bad that you have to, like, you know, do what little you can, and then find another gun. Uh-oh. What? Something died and I didn't do anything. I suppose that can work. I don't know if him stomping me will also kill me, so I should probably not find out. Shield's down. Oh, I guess that's be- oh shit. I did not want to be where those markers just showed up. Unless that was just weapons, but... I, I think he's, uh, mad. Hey, for what? Did I get him? I got him. The arm cannon helped. That was the end of Chapter 5, and I'm guessing this is the end of the game, but we'll find out. No, it's not. We're not done. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take a break though, cause I've been going for a bit. Uh, that was a definitely a major boss. I was ready, you know, based on the review that complained that the game was short. I was uh, prepared for that to be the end of it, but we're not done yet. So hey, we've got more. We'll keep going. When we get back in a couple minutes. Um. I should find some music to put on, I guess, huh? Cause, well, actually, wait. Yeah, I guess we're at, like, a silent point in the level. If I get to a point that's not silent, maybe... Yeah, alright. Let me postpone the break until we have music. We'll do it that way. Also, what did that say? Kill them all, okay. But yeah, the, the objective text at the top right is just, like, it's nearly invisible sometimes. Like, over there, it's visible. I wonder if I can do anything about that, actually. I'm still not sure what they mean by weapon always ready, unless it just skips the animations when you, acqu when you acquire new weapons.
I'm curious what Compress HUD does, but I'm probably not going to like it. Oh, it puts the stuff in the middle. Okay, that's... I can actually appreciate that. I didn't know that's what it meant. It doesn't just... It doesn't make it smaller, it puts it together. What does Classic Ammo count? Oh, it puts it at the bottom right, but it also uses the extremely hard-to-read dark font. So, yeah, let's not do that. Um... What is the speedrunner's HUD? Oh, that gives you, like, speed information and stuff? Okay, that's what that does. And also, time. That's pretty neat. Uh, what on earth is even shooting at me? This level feels hard to visually parse. It's like, where even is the ground? And these guys really are kind of cloaked, huh? Oh, that's not what I meant to press. That was the entire level? Okay. So, interesting new setting again. Art gallery seems appropriate. Alright. Oh, that's right, I forgot it, like, dulls the audio when I, uh, pause anyway. Well, you're gonna have some extremely low-key music for the break, but we're gonna take a break here. And we'll continue in a couple minutes. Alright, hey Waxcoat. Let's, uh, let's continue. With, uh, the game that we... Y you thought surely after defeating the CEO in his, in his giant mech, that must be the end. No, it's not. <clears throat> and we've got some interesting scenery in this next section, so let's see, uh, how this goes. Thanks for the welcome back, thanks for sticking around. And, uh, let me get the timer going again. Nice, I kicked the door into the dude? Actually supposed to be looking at artifact, artifacts or something. Wait, but there's there's one in here though. Oh, what is that thing? Am I just supposed to shoot it? No, we're supposed to take it apparently. Yeah, it can be hypnotic at times, I suppose. I imagine it's probably disorienting. Was that that was the crowbar from Half Life, wasn't it? How did- I feel like I didn't actually hit him, but okay. Well, that guy wasn't paying attention at all. But yeah, I, I can see where this could be a little bit jarring to viewers, because, like, I know when I'm slowing down time, but the viewers don't. Kind of like how I feel about, uh, glory kills in, uh, in Doom 2016. 
Well, I already killed everything, I guess. Okay, that wasn't the museum. Oh, now we're placing the artifacts. So we're just doing their job for them? I mean... Oh, so that's Master Chief's helmet. That is... I don't know what that's supposed to be. I mean, it's a gun, but, like, what specific gun is it? And that's your crowbar. Does anyone recognize exactly what this is supposed to represent? I don't know if this is supposed to be the golden gun. Maybe? I like how we have uh, classical music now. Yeah, that's, that's what I was pondering as well. Oh, we're supposed to go up there or something? Ow. Oh, wait. Have I been in here? No, I have not. Wow, what is this gun I have right now? It has a very long reload. It also seems to hurt pretty good, though. And it has a bunch of shots in it, so I'm gonna keep using it for the time being. Oh, I missed. I cannot believe I missed them. Alright, problem, problem, we need a new gun. Uh, not what I wanted. I was trying to take a shortcut, and that turned into very much the opposite. sniped at me. Might have been that guy, actually. Yeah, so, uh, if you have one of these guns, it apparently just ignores shields entirely. Uh... Enter the exhibit. Okay, then. Take their power. I keep, like, jumping into where the warp is, that's why. Oh no, it's kind of reflecting everywhere, though. Dig a tunnel, what? I have overcharged my cannon. It has more ammo and higher velocity. Okay. I was wondering why it was like, seemingly activating on everybody. Okay. Uh, it said dig a tunnel, but... Is there a particular place that wants me to dig? Oh, over here, probably. Yeah, there we go. That's the second time we've actually had to dig a tunnel. Is there a hedge maze? I was thinking in the previous level, when I uh, picked up Master Chief's helmet out, I, somehow that was making me think hedge maze. Yeah, 
we, we don't want to let that guy do anything. So I, I guess our thing is supercharged, like, from here on out, huh? That'll get him. Turn on the lights. And I have a flamethrower. I thought I was already doing that. Random chair. I don't know if I can really hit those guys with this. I might need another gun. I don't know if I have any options though. This this may be an unfortunate decision that I made to pick up this flamethrower. Thank you. Only has two shots. Well, I made them count. <laughs> there he is, I was wondering. Alright, well now we get to climb again. <clears throat> I'm honestly wondering if you could like wall jump between two of these columns repeatedly to get up there. That was weird. I, like, consumed my double jump before I wanted it to. It's sad, too, because I was, like, right here when I got distracted by those dudes. What did that say? Destroy the building. Okay. Wait, I have a flamethrower already? Okay. Free flamethrower? Sure, why not? I have no idea where I'm actually going, though. Okay. Keep destroying. Am I just supposed to, like, burn everything? Is that actually what I'm doing here? And I'm dead. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. The thing is, I don't know if there's supposed to be, like, particular key areas you're supposed to destroy. Might as well restart that. Well, that didn't go very well. You know, it, it helps when I can see where I'm going, which when I'm using the flamethrower, I kinda can't.
Uh, I mean, the other guy's helping. Can I, like, pick up his ammo? Is he dead? Yeah, I guess so. The flamethrower was a little OP because, like, it will kill things just by, like, pointing and clicking before the flame really reaches them sometimes. There's another lame thrower guy somewhere. Oh shit. Now we're in kill them all mode? Okay. Does that mean there's more dudes though? Yeah, this place is a bit of a mess now. I have no idea who's left. That guy might have been a little stuck. Please? Yeah, there we go. Get out. We need to get to the higher floor again. There you go. Oh, that was a very pretty exit, actually. Cut through the wall. Okay. Money incoming, is that what that just said? And just cut through another wall there. This is my uh, slow mo there. Oh, I only needed to use it four times. Where did I just end up? I can't tell who's shooting at me. That works.
I just like gonna keep coming? Because I feel like we have to have killed 20 by now. Okay, they are telling me to cut through the wall again, which, like, I could have just done that to begin with. Twenty-five and coming. Okay, so uh, we got to keep doing it then. I probably should have just done it at ground level to make my life easier. Wait, why are there two of them? That's the one I just did. I must have like ax. Oh, that was the fifth one from earlier. So I could have actually done myself a bit of a favor. Hmm, I can get up here though. Wait a second. Okay, no, yeah, that's where it's telling us to go. Uh, so it says 25 incoming, but I am out of energy. Should I be able to pick up more energy from more dudes? Or did the level just self-lock me? Oh. Never mind. Yeah, I just got full refill from that. I just needed one more. That miss. There should have been another weapon over here. Thank you. Okay, that works. Time to cut through the wall again. Okay, but there's also dudes still shooting at me. So we have a whole nother full charge. So that needed eight total. Oh, we got portals now. Do I hear flamethrower dudes? I do. No, he's dead. Okay. Is that a beach chair? Kind of hard to see some of the platforms. I mean, like, you can see the edges, but, like, seeing the top of them is sometimes a bit tough. I died there, really? I hope that starts me at that. Okay, yeah, it starts me at that one. 
You don't have to do the whole level again. That would be pretty unreasonable. there, but I couldn't. Uh, didn't realize I actually went through the portal. That was slightly disorienting. Oh, I disagree. There is definitely a flamethrower dude up there. I want a weapon, thank you. Hard to tell where you're getting shot at from sometimes. There's a lot of places with enemies here. Please kill him. You didn't kill him. Alright, that'll work. That's not a flamethrower, dude. That's a rocket, dude. I sank up through the wall, but, uh... I think that's the exit. That is the exit. That is a very big, uh, exit. Conscience. Open the portal. Whoa, what is going on here? Everything is so shiny. Oh god, everything is shooting at me. Everything is terrible. Do we have another boss? We might have another boss. Alright, do I need to, like, step on each of these? I think so. Oh, these are the guys that say that. Okay. Into the portal. Oh, I'm out of... Start the process. What just happened? I think I, I think I like sort of didn't quite fully enter it there. What on earth is this? Is this a? Uh, this is somewhere in between Half Life and uh, Persona 5 Royal right now. I feel like. Okay, I don't have a weapon though.
Okay, <laughs> cool. I got his weapon, and then I fell asleep. Oh, no. Wait, okay. Cool. So it starts me back here. Uh, and yeah, what you're supposed to do... That's still a little bit goofy, but you're supposed to, like, ride up there like that. At least now I have a weapon to start it with. Everything is the heavy dudes. Alright, that works. the shields. Okay. I need to get upstairs, it looks like. I don't know whether I should just try to blast through the ceiling, or if there's supposed to be an intended way to get up there. the blasting through the ceiling would do me any favors anyway. Or do we blast through... Nope, that does absolutely nothing. That also did Everything is blast-proof in here. Also, we've got weapons on the sides. Okay. And I would imagine, yeah, the shields prevent me from going there. I did gain my, uh, my arm cannon ammo back, though. I would assume these portals just take me to the other side. Uh, no, they actually take me back out? Well, that's not what I would have expected, but actually, we need to be back out here, go figure. I didn't realize that's where it was sending me to. Uh, whoops. Okay, good. I was wondering if that was an instant KO, but no, it's not. Uh, I meant to pick up that guy's gun. Just supposed to shoot these? Uh, that was confusing. Do I need to shoot through the. Yeah, you need to shoot through the glass. Okay. I didn't really mean to do that. There are four of them? I think there was three. Alright, so now I assume I need to go up again. To the portal, if I can manage to center myself. There we go. Oh, that's not a good time to run out of slow-mo. They seem kind of mad at me. Oh, I thought I picked up another weapon, but I guess I didn't. Imagine I'm just supposed to be shooting at that now. 
I thought there was a gun here. Yeah, there is. Oh, it does have a light. I, again, I'm not noticing the HUD because it's all very dark red and the room is also kind of that color. Oh, now we gotta go for shields again? Alright. Oh, geez, somebody is very angry at me, though. Oh, are they in this room now? Okay. I didn't expect them to be in here. I expected to have to go out again. Okay, yep, that's blown up. I thought I could slide through there. I was wrong. This guy seems confused. enough weapons from all the guys that were in here. Because it seems like everybody... Oh, th and there's also weapons on the side. I remember that. It would have been funny if I ended it by throwing up... You know what? It would be really satisfying to kill it with this, though. One shot is probably going to do it, though. Yep. I was thinking it would have been funny if I killed it by throwing... A, uh, a weapon at it. Cathartic escapism. You can shoot through the small view hole on the shield guard's shield. That may be how I ended up uh, killing a couple of them before. can't go through there. Okay. I didn't want to do that, but I guess that's good enough. Uh, this might be a problem. Or it might be good enough. I didn't want to go out there. Is there really only one for that, or did I already step on one and didn't realize it? That works. Oh, that doesn't. I 
see, so that is... Those are the barriers. And presumably I can't blast my way through that either. Yes, I can. All right. Oh, man, I missed a couple of shots there. Yeah, good luck hitting through the little visor and the shield. That's kind of a hard target to hit. Let's unlock the gate, but there's like five gazillion things to do. Um, what is going on in here, dude? Disorienting. Oh, this is bad. Right, he's done. Jeez. That was one of the grenade guys. Uh, yeah, don't miss that, thank you. Um, okay, close enough. There's one left, I think. doesn't work. Switch the key. Destroy the gate. Uh, okay. I see. Am I just supposed to shoot at it, or...? Actually, geez, what the hell happened here? I guess? Maybe? Why do I have unlimited... They didn't tell me I had unlimited... Okay! I had unlimited cannon. I guess that's what was supposed to make a cathartic escapism. Oops. Yeah, they, they've they've made us uh, 
bore tunnels quite a few times. I definitely feel like I underused the arm cannon. This might actually be it. But I mean, that was three and a half hours. Which is at least a bit more than the review led me to believe it would be. Yep, there you go. So that's your campaign. So, yeah, it's something you can totally get through in one night. I, I am glad I decided to do the Severed Steel difficulty, because, yeah, I had to restart quite a few times, but... Other than... Well, I was gonna say, other than a couple levels, they were usually short en enough to not be unreasonable to restart, but then you also had checkpoints in the levels that were multiple sections, so that also made it more reasonable. Yeah, you probably saw the same review I did that suggested like two and a half hours or something. Which I mean, if you tear through it on like the lowest difficulty or something, or at least on the second difficulty, I could see where, yeah, I probably wasted at least half an hour retrying things. The, uh, the review seemed to speak poorly of the other extra modes also, but uh, I figure we'll at least try them. I'll save that for tomorrow night, but since we've got extra modes, we might as well. I don't know, if they're a gamer at heart, they wouldn't be complaining about the roguelite mode acting like a roguelite, though. Now, I know I'm bad at roguelites, so I don't expect to do good on that mode, but... Corsair, huh? Yeah, my keyboard sto started misbehaving, and then it stopped misbehaving. I don't know. I had problems with my D key for, like, one level, and or maybe two, and then it was fine again? So, uh, that's a little disconcerting. Steel will return. But yeah, bo both um, both Severed Steel and Echo Point Nova seem to do a pretty good job with soundtrack and stuff too, so. Is this gonna send me back to the menu at some point, or is it just gonna... Or is it just gonna stay here forever? Oh, here we go, I just hit escape. Congratulations on completing the campaign. You've unlocked the Plasma Grenade in Firefight mode. Play Firefight and unlock weapons, mutators, and more cannons. You've also unlocked New Game Plus mode. You can play through the story with more and tougher enemies, and you can use your Firefight unlocks in the story. Oh. Alright, right. So, they did say there was a New Game Plus, but I guess it makes sense to go... So, when you when you went into Firefight mode, it suggested strong... It strongly recommended that you start with Campaign. But now I guess the recommendation is we go to Firefight and then come back to Campaign. Um... I guess that depends on what the firefight unlocks are, though. I don't know whether that includes upgrades. Because, like, when I heard modifiers, I assumed it just makes shit harder. But I guess we'll have to find out. But yeah, so uh, we'll probably check out both firefight and rogue steel tomorrow. This campaign... Oh, I see. There's new game plus right here. Adds extra random enemies, and enemies respawn during the level. It's it's Nightmare from OG Doom. Thanks, I hate it. Warning, for players seeking constant, intense combat. Yeah, so the problem with that is you need to know where the hell you're supposed to go. Because, like, part of the initial, you know, first playthrough experience was definitely like, okay, I cleared things out, now I can figure out what the hell it actually wants me to do. <laughs> and you're not going to have that respite in New Game Plus mode. Oh, what's bonus? Bonus levels. These are extra levels made by the devs and the community. They are bigger and more complex than the original level set and may run at a lower frame rate. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I mean, some of the original levels are still pretty big, so I don't know whether 
I mean, yeah, this is more complex. I wonder how much more complex. We'll have to look at this too. How many of these are there? Wait, so this is campaigns, but then it says levels, but that's locked apparently. What is going on in that screenshot though? Well, we got plenty of stuff to check out in here then. Jeez, okay, we might get a couple of weekends after out of this after all. Um, but I figure we'll start with Firefight and Rogue Steel tomorrow. And I guess depending on how I do with time for that, that might take the whole night, or we might decide to do some of the bonus content and save Campaign Plus for a full day next weekend or something. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on... Actually, you know what? I'm going to open my uh, performance monitor right now just so I can see how much how much of a toll this is putting so i guess if you go into mission select yeah you can get to everything here what is i assume eden 01 is this and then workshop is yeah okay that's a separate thing so you can download levels that other people have made um and you can pick difficulty individually on all of these oh and here's your here's your mutators you've got big head mode <laughs> Um, New Game Plus mode is also listed as a mutator. But yeah, you need to... Okay, so yeah, this is what you need to play Firefight for. It's weird that the scroll bar is on the left. Big head, super slide... Slide forever. I feel like I was sliding forever sometimes before, even when I didn't want to, honestly. Um, Limited slow-mo. You have twice as much slow-mo, but slow-mo meter does not recharge. Oof. Warrior Monk. You can't shoot. You can only throw guns. <laughs> Arm cannon is disabled except for gravity gun? Wait, what the hell is the gravity gun? <clears throat> Guns make paints. We got paintball mode? Dude, yeah, we've got all the 007 stuff in here. Um, super kick uh, is just supercharged kick. Melee jibs enemies. Oh, wow. That's kind of hilarious. That That's some... Uh, I feel like that's some... Fear slash Trepang 2 stuff right there. Also, although Trepang 2 doesn't give enemies when you melee them, but you kill them in like two hits. But I guess that's probably the case here too. I don't know. Uh, guns you pick up only have one bullet. Oof. Scary lighting. Level is darker. I don't think I want that. Here's low gravity. Here's yeah. You were you were still the floor is lava one. Luck drains while standing or running on the floor. I still. Is luck actually your health? Like, you mentioned before it was a clover. I didn't realize that's what luck was. Man, so it's like always be jumping and wall climbing and stuff. Like water, can start wall running from a dive, can start a kick slide from a dive. That's neat. It's interesting though. Okay, low. wait, why does low gravity lower the score multiplier, but like water doesn't? I feel like low gravity would make shit harder, not easier. <laughs> Um, oh, you were talking about Minecraft before. Here you go. <laughs> Steelcraft makes world cubic. See through walls. Can always see enemy through walls. I thought I could do that. I felt like I was doing that anyway sometimes. And yeah, that's considered a cheat. None of these other ones were... Oh, wait, no. This super slide is also considered a cheat. Okay. Because it's slide forever. I'm surprised that the one in the chamber doesn't increase the score multiplier. Thrust cannon shooting the arm cannon propels steel. Steel goes invisible while in a stunt. Okay. Yeah, does that does that mean does that mean it shoves me forward or backward? <laughs> Enemies explode on death. Wait, that reduces your score also. I guess because it can make chain reactions or something. Explosive ammo. Score multiplier, zero. <laughs> that just outright... Yeah, that counts as a cheat, and it makes your score zero, because that would just completely trivialize everything, I guess. All enemies are replaced with ninja types, so yeah, that was supposed to be cloaked enemies we were seeing. I feel like sometimes the cloaked enemies were more visible, though. I don't know. You think it shows them one... Oh, okay. Okay. 
was wondering why... Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I didn't think I could see them through walls before. Why can I see them through walls now? But yeah, it makes sense. It's an objective. It might even be related to the, like, the high-vis objective uh, setting or whatever. Bulletproof. Steel can't die from weapons. So yeah, that's basically invincibility. Guns don't run out of ammo. Also basically... Yeah, that's your unlimited ammo cheat. Thrown weapons explode. Wait, this one doesn't affect score multiplier. Collect matching card in Rogue Steel to unlock. Oh, so Rogue Steel has uh, has modifiers as well. Uh, attack the weak point. Bullet and melee attacks to the body deal no damage. Yeah, I was gonna say that would make things harder. Double arm cannon ammo. I'm surprised that doesn't affect the multiplier. Weapons have faster rate of fire. All weapons are full auto. Oof. Enemies killed by explosions or cannon shots explode. So that one doesn't increase your score. It doesn't decrease your score multiplier, but enemies explode when killed does. I don't know. Enemies move faster. Uh, starting weapon and found weapons, but not enemy weapons have double ammo capacity. Kicked doors explode on impact. Doors will explode when enemies try to open them. That's pretty funny. Rip and tear. Melee kills refill your held weapon. Yeah, there you go. There's your uh, your Doom 2016 reference. That's supposed to be like the chainsaw, basically. Downing an enemy adds one round to your current weapon's magazine. Interesting. Steel's movement is 30% faster. That doesn't affect the uh, multiplier either. It seems like most of the card ones don't. Faster slow-mo. Bullet time doesn't slow time down as much. Hmm. Shields could be damaged and explode when damaged enough. Heh. <laughs> NPCs don't drop their weapons when stunned. Okay. So that means you can't just steal their weapons before killing them. More items in the world explode when shot. Double points are gained from shooting explosives. Wait. There's points? Was there, was there a score system this entire... I mean, yeah, obviously there's score multiplier, I guess. So, now hang on a second, though. Was there a score in the original? Or is this only for the other modes? Yeah, because I didn't think there was a score in there. I don't know if New Game Plus will have one or if that is specific to, like, Firefight. Firefight, I would imagine, does. Oh, and here you go. Use whatever cannon each level would usually have. No cannon. I would think that would make some levels unbeatable, though. And plasma grenade. Vaporize enemies and walls. Press middle mouse button to, sh to shoot. Hold to charge. And there's a bunch of other ones, too. Here's your gravity gun. Okay. So you've got different kinds of arm cannons. That's true, right. When we picked difficulty, it mentioned the multiplier. So yeah, there has to be, but un unless... Unless it's really specific to Firefight. Wait a minute. Those are different level names, right? I would assume those are not... No. Those are actually the same levels. Firefight takes place in the same... I, I was thinking it was going to have different levels, but it seems like maybe not. But yeah, this says increases your final score by whatever. I don't know. If we play this... I don't, I don't see a score anywhere. No, there is, there is no score here, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it just... It just does a time. Also, wait, how was my previous best 13 seconds? I got so lost in that level, and it took me forever. Oh, 
Um, I destroyed it through the window. Okay, cool. There you go. Better time. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> That's funny that there's level select and quit to OS right from there. Like, there's no way to... Wait, hang on. Was there no main menu button? That seems weird that you could go just to the previous menu or just exit the game completely. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not about to speedrun the whole game, but... I just wanted to go in and see if there was a score, but I imagine... I'm guessing when you start Firefight, it gives you a uh, difficulty select. Yeah, okay. Why does that seem backwards? Also, why does it keep zooming me all the way down there? Like, why does it put the selected thing above? You would think that that would say difficulty and this would say severed steel. That seems weird. Stop putting me all the way back down there again. Uh... Yeah, you have to un you have to unlock starting armed too. Jeez, that's ridiculous. It looks like neither of these is selected right now, so I guess I should select something. And then of course we don't have any mutators yet. I'm not actually going to play this right now because we're going to save that for tomorrow. Oh, you can also change your language right here too. That's a lot of language choices actually. But uh, that's neat. So there's tons of translations. Uh, wait, where did you see leaderboards? Was that actually in the mission select? Oh, one firefight. Firefight, I expect to have a score. Uh, oh, over here. Yeah, so this has, this has score and also time, apparently. So you can sort by time and by score. Wonder how the heck that works. I'm I'm expecting every every online leaderboard has cheaters, so I'm expecting these to be basically meaningless. But I'll be curious how the uh, I didn't expect the times to be that short, but like maybe it actually is just like playing the level normally. I was expecting firefight to be different. Unless maybe it's just always kill them all mode. And then there's challenges down here. One kill while riding car- wait. You can ride a cart? And you can actually see... Uh, the challenges for the ones you don't have unlocked yet. But yeah, it, it seems like we're basically going to be going back through the campaign. What does this do? Oh, that's the playlist style. Why did that just open? Oh, that opens the workshop so if you, for you to like download stuff. Okay. I'm not sure I entirely understand what this symbol means. I, I would think it might have more to do with the playlist mode. Which is interesting that there is a playlist mode. But anyway, we'll fiddle with that tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to stop here for now. We got through the campaign. Pretty fun time, but it definitely, like, yeah. It's a lot to visually process <laughs> at times. Um, but, yeah, it was pretty fun. So, thanks everybody for watching.